This is a five minute presentation about the mechanics strand of the MEI Further Math Specification for first teaching in 2017. Mechanics is highly valued by universities, particularly as preparation for mathematics, engineering and physics courses. It offers a way of thinking about the physical world based on the Newtonian model. More sophisticated models are available for subatomic and cosmological phenomena, but the Newtonian model is good enough for most situations. MEI specifications have always had an emphasis on modelling, so we've been able to take the new modelling requirements in our stride. A few topics have moved around, and a few have been reintroduced from earlier specifications, but most of the mechanics strand will be fairly familiar to experienced teachers. You don't have to take any mechanics in A-level further maths, but if you do want to, you can choose mechanics as a minor option, one-sixth of the A-level, or as a major option, one-third of the A-level. In terms of size, that's like choosing to stick with M1 in A-level maths, or to add on M2 and possibly M3 as well. Here are some of the topics in Mechanics Minor. Some of these topics depend on or overlap a bit with the non-AS content of A-level maths. If you're teaching maths and further maths in parallel, and you're teaching Mechanics Minor in Year 12, then you might have to teach these topics from scratch. There's an AS unit with the same content as this, called Mechanics A. Mechanics Major has all the content of Mechanics Minor, plus some more. There is an AS unit with the same content as this second half of Mechanics Major, called Mechanics B. Exam questions do occasionally ask about the assumptions behind the models used in the questions, and they do ask about interpretation. It's expected that calculators are used in a different way. For example, if a centre of mass is being calculated in the continuous case, then candidates might write down the relevant integrals and then use the numerical integration feature on their calculators to evaluate them. Calculators can also be used to solve equations. The key focus of mechanics is modelling the real world. It applies pure maths, but it's not just about practising pure maths techniques. Where the examiner does not want a calculator to be used in this way, it will be clearly indicated. This is how the exams work. The minor option can be taught in Year 12 alongside AS Maths. The major option is probably best taught over two years. If you want to enter for AS Further Maths, then there's an AS unit called Mechanics A, with the same content as Mechanics Minor. There's also a second AS unit called Mechanics B, with the same content as the second half of Mechanics Major. This one is best taught in Year 13, and it's designed for students who are able to take AS Further Maths in Year 13. MEI wants to support you in teaching this course, especially where things have changed. Some of the new MEI textbooks and ebooks have already been published and the rest are on their way. The highly regarded integral online resources are being updated and in some cases rewritten with interactive walkthroughs. There's a whole range of face-to-face -face CPD and online webinars, as well as some one-day conferences devoted to further maths. Finally, you can register for the MEI staff room an online place for finding free extra resources, 
expert help from MEI and support from other teachers teaching the MEI spec. Do get in touch if you have any questions. We'd be delighted to help.